Hey, how's it going everyone? We're going to take a look at the SH figure art of Son Gohan in his battle armor or battle clothes from Dragon Ball Z. So I really like the SH figure art small scale figures like this character here and the Goku one, Kid Goku that is, and that was still and is one of my favorite figures because I just really like what they accomplished with such a tiny size. So I'm expecting more of the same from this Son Gohan as well. I buy quite a few of these Dragon Ball Z figures or Dragon Ball franchise figures from SH figure arts, but I don't open all of them. But because this is that small scale that I like, I'm going to open it. So this is Son Gohan again in his battle clothes. This is a Bandai web exclusive. So it does come in a brown shipper box like so. I'm going to put that to the side. This is the package for Son Gohan though. And it's quite similar to the majority of the Dragon Ball Z figures out there as well. So you can see the nice big window display showing the figure there in the center. Quite a lot of face plates that this guy comes with. And then you've got the Dragon Ball there. The three star big Dragon Ball down there. You can also see, I think the hair is a little hidden behind that little panel there. You've got a photo of Gohan there, plus the kind of text logos and so on and so forth down at the bottom over there. On the side, you've got a few different pictures in black and white. On the back, some more pictures of Gohan in different poses. That kind of gives you an idea of what you can accomplish as well. And then down this side is quite plain. Here's the bottom and here's the top. Let's open the figure. So here's the battle clothes Gohan out of the box. We'll go through the option parts first before we get into the figure. But actually before that, very quickly, if you were looking for the instruction sheet, this is actually now printed on the box in the, one of the panels here. So when you open the box, it's going to be this panel on the where the plastic is. So it doesn't come with an instruction sheet or a paper sheet. It comes with that instead. So I was kind of confused with that as the first encounter I've had or something like that. Probably saves some paper. But that's how it is. Very simple, very straightforward. But in case you were wondering where's that sheet, that's where it is now. So let's start with the Dragon Ball in case it rolls away. So this is the three star Dragon Ball, the large version of it that Gohan comes with. So depending on which figure that you get from this SH figure arts Dragon Ball Z line, different characters now come with certain or specific versions of the Dragon Ball small size or large size. So for Gohan here in the battle clothes, it's going to be the three star one. So it's pretty much the same style as the ones that other figures have come with i.e. same kind of color and kind of texture and everything like that. It is pretty smooth. There is a slight blemish on my one, which I've lost now, but it is totally there. But otherwise, three star Dragon Ball, extremely smooth. So try not to lose that when it rolls away, which it inevitably will. Jumping to the hand. So Gohan comes with the fists already attached to the figure. And then he's got tiny, 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 really tiny hands. I've got to stress that, so don't lose them. So he's got the battle ready hands like so, which you may be already familiar with, with previous Gohan figures or Goku figures or even Vegeta and, well, basically every Dragon Ball character. They have hands like this. So battle ready. Come to the pair of those. They're going to be plain white because they're gloved. Come to the pair of karate chopping hands or flat palm hands like so here. Very tiny again. Comes with open palm hands like so here. Again, all white. And then he comes with a single right hand, which is kind of basically going to be used to hold his left hand when he's doing one of his attacks. So that's basically there. That's what it is really for that hand. We then come on to the faces and Gohan comes with quite a few different face plates, which is really great to see. So here you can see straight away all of his faces. He has a massive forehead. It's really jarring to see without the hair covering it. But yeah, he's got a massive forehead. So they all lettered on the reverse side, by the way. So A is going to be on that one. And this is going to be B. You can see on the bottom right there. Hopefully you can see so it's going to be B, C, D and E. So that's really cool there. So you hopefully won't lose them or mistake them. The sculpts on all of them are really great. Top tier stuff, really great stuff there. You can see all the sculpt and all the details from the eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth. All of that is great. The mouth in particular on this one really is really good for me. I really like this one. It's very, very good. Really well done as well. You can just kind of see the inside of his mouth, his tongue, teeth and so on. So it's really detailed there. I really like it. Really good job there. Uh, by Bandai for doing such a great sculpt on this particular one itself. You can also see the line details on the cheeks and just underneath the eyes as well. That's really good to see. And of course, the additional kind of hair on the eyebrows as well. So what the detail there checks out. So it's really good head sculpt. This is probably one of my favorite ones in terms of detail. I really like what they've done with this one. We come to the other alternate one then. It's going to be this one here. He's gritting his teeth. You can use this with the kind of bowl haircut or with the slightly uh, wild hair if you want to. Really good head sculpt again or face sculpt. Then we come with one where he's slightly more cheery, which is nice. It's good. Depending on the angle, I'm not a big fan of it. Like if it's like looking up, it doesn't look that great. I, it's, I mean, it just depends on the angle. It's such a minor nitpick. It's just me really, really being picky. Otherwise, it's totally fine as well. Then the final alternate one is going to be where he's kind of pouting, I would say. And he's kind of looking straight. All the details again, check out. Really nice looking head sculpt as well. Generally speaking, all of the face sculpts, I'm really happy with them. The way they turned out, I think they are really great. Uh, the only thing I would say is that he doesn't come with, like, say, other expressions where he's got the really smiling eyes, where his eyes are closed. Really, again, nitpicky, but it's still great what we've got here. I think these are really suitable. 
and get the job done, really. Gohan also comes with an additional hair sculpt, so this is already pretty attached. We can take off the front bangs bit to kind of show that. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to do for Gohan. This is actually probably the easier one to do because you can actually grip like parts of the hair. What I would say though is when you do grip the hair, avoid this little strand at the front here that's peeking out. And then this one here as well, because you can see that kind of moves there. You don't want to accidentally break that off, which I would imagine for some people and owners of this figure, it's going to happen. The actual way it's kind of joint is quite stiff. Uh, which is probably not a bad thing, but it makes it a little bit tricky to get off. That's what it's going to look like when you take it off. And you can add the faceplate on, which we're going to do later on. You have to swap the whole hair piece from the original default bowl haircut to this one here as well. And we'll do that later on in the video. Gohan also comes with an additional chest plate piece like so. So the actual difference is basically at the edge here. Instead of being really wide and angled, this one kind of comes in a little bit. So basically you would want to use this, let's say if for example, you want Gohan to have his arms kind of crossing over to his chest a little bit more or closer to the body. This is the version that we use because that one there, you can probably notice it comes out too wide and it spikes out right at this point here for that version there. And that's going to end up digging into his arms as well. So use this one if you want his arms to come a little bit closer. That brings us to the actual figure itself and he is standing really tiny but looking very, very strong and adamant at the same time. I love it. I love the way it looks. This stands roughly around 4 inches, just over 10 centimeters. So he's a tiny figure. I think it stacks up with the same as Kid Goku and the other Kid Gohan where he's in his uh, like purple outfit. So we've already seen Gohan before in this kind of kid version of it, just not with the actual battle armor. So this is new and it's new for me as well. It's been out for a while, but this is new for me. And I really like it for the most part. There are some issues with it purely down to articulation because of the armor itself, but it still is a very good looking figure. So here we can see straight, straight away that this one is going to use the default bowl haircut, which is kind of iconic for him, I guess. Really goofy looking hairstyle, but it is Gohan really at the end of the day. So it looks great. Now I will say before we get onto moving and swapping parts, it, you can probably expect that it's going to be a little bit tricky because there's nothing to grip on this guy's head. So it's a bit tricky to kind of take off the bangs and then take the change the face as well. But we'll get into that in just a moment. Otherwise though, it looks really good. And actually you can't really see the seam that much. Like it's really cleanly done. So it looks great. His face looks great as well. This is the original face it comes with. So face A looks great. He's not pouting as much as the other face that we saw. This one is much more very serious and adamant as I mentioned. He's got his big ears showing as well, but it looks great again. Coming down to the actual body, his body armor looks really great as well. We've got a little bit of the shoulder pieces there. Colors look great. It is pretty plain painted. There's no shading going on. So some people may be disappointed with that, but it looks fine. Otherwise, play around with your lighting on your display. And then really, you kind of don't know, notice that so much. But generally, it looks quite good. It's very similar to most other kind of Super Saiyan figures out there, i.e. Vegeta. So it checks out there for the most part. There may be slight alterations here and there, but I can't remember them off by heart. This is the backside of it there. And then you can kind of see the groin area, which is quite similar to the other Gohan figure, Kid Goku. A lot of the SH figure arts, Dragon Ball figures at this stage, coming down to his legs again. And it basically looks like a little kind of tiny Vegeta at this point when you ignore the face, right? You got the boots as well. The boots are pretty much the same as Super Saiyan Vegeta for the most part, you know, positives and negatives and all that. But generally, yeah, he is a good looking figure. I really like the way it looks. Not the best looking figure. I still think the original Kid Gohan in the purple, that looks nicer. Plus, I think Kid Goku looks nicer as well. But this doesn't look bad at all. It still is a perfectly good looking figure, especially if you really like this version of Gohan. It's totally fine in my opinion. When it comes to articulation, it's not bad either. So the head moves down like so, moves up, and of course it can look left and right. Obviously the shoulder armor, once that goes up, it might hinder things here and there, but it's not bad. Of course you can tilt his head too, which is great. So head articulation is very, very good. You've got the articulation for the shoulder pads here, as I mentioned. There is no swivel. I would have preferred, I don't even know if they've done that in the past actually, but it'd be nice if they redo this element here. So there's a little bit of a swivel to it, because I just think Without it, it's just missing that little bit for me. That means though he can move his arms up by adding it all the way up there. You can see there's rotation at the shoulder bit there. It's a bit stiff on my one, both arms. As I mentioned, you can bring his arms forward, but you can see here this protrudes out quite a bit. So when we do that, you might see that it kind of clashes at that point. His actual shoulder does pop out quite a bit, and that's really great to see. So what I'm going to show you now actually is you, what you got to do is just kind of dig your nail underneath the chest bit and then remove it like so. So we'll just kind of leave it there, actually. So he's got kind of a guy of a nipple go, going on. He can bring his shoulder out 
like so, which is great. It's going to be slightly less once you include the alternate chest piece. So it'd be about here, let's say. Still plenty good, so you can do it both arms. Um, and then you've got the bicep swivel right there, the bend at the elbow, like so. And then the hands are going to be all the kind of other stuff that you'd expect. His hands are so tiny and the joint is quite tiny or the peg is quite tiny that don't be surprised if his hands do fall off quite often. They, that can happen. Uh, just don't lose the hands and don't get frustrated either. So Gohan's articulation isn't that bad. It's pretty good. It gets the job done. Just a few little bits here and there that I hope they can improve in future figures down the road. So you can still get him into pretty good poses. For example, let's just quickly do one where, I don't know, he's kind of like going to go for a punch or something. Kind of bring his arms forward like so. Uh, and there we go. Yeah, it's pretty simple to do. Like I said, the legs and the knees in particular don't bend so much, but that's really kind of minor, depending on your perspective. For me, it's I was hoping it'd be better, but it's again not a deal breaker. You'll get him into still some very cool looking poses, so don't worry too much about that. Now then, let's swap some stuff. So I already showed you the chest piece. That's going to be pretty straightforward. So we just just add the kind of narrower chest piece on there to kind of show you. So you just plug that in. There we go, and then that kind of comes forward. You can see again, just showing you how far his arms come in. So that's pretty good. What we want to do is change the face first and with this hair. So as I mentioned, because this is quite smooth, the default bowl haircut is quite smooth. Just get his arm back in place. It's quite smooth, so it's really hard to get any kind of grip anywhere. So if you've got nails or if you've got like a plastic spudger or something, just kind of feel out the middle seam bit, which is what I'm trying to do here. Or you can alternatively try and this bit, just be careful with is kind of tug at his ears a bit and his chin there, you see it kind of cracks open a little bit. So it gives you a little bit of leeway, put your nail in or a, again, a metal spudger, not a metal one, a plastic one. So you don't damage the figure. And then there we go. Just kind of pull at it, gently pull at it. Don't, don't go too hard. You don't want to you know, break pegs or anything. Take off the front bangs. There we go. And then you've got access to the face plate. You can just remove that as you would anything else. Sometimes some of these pegs are a little bit stiff. We're going to add the one that I really like where he's yelling. That's super cool. I really love this expression. And then just pop that in. There we go. And then add that back. I'm not going to completely do that. So just, yeah, that's all you have to do with this one. If you want to swap the actual hair itself, just pull it off completely. So I'm actually, let's just add that. So I'm going to pull it off like so. You might find that this peg actually gets stuck inside the head. If it does, try it again and then maybe angle it ever so slightly. Warning, ever so slightly so you don't snap the peg. But uh, don't quote me on that and just be careful as you do it. But yeah, occasionally this little peg here got stuck into the head. If it comes off clean like that, that's great. You can reset that if you want to. And then we'll just add the back piece of the hair on. So you just match it up and then that should kind of click into place. If it doesn't, try try again. There we go. And then we've got the hair back piece there. We'll add the face. Which one will we do? We did had the one where he's kind of smiling. And then we just kind of line that up, plug that in, and then add the front bangs. And as I mentioned, be careful of this protruding hair strand here and this bottom one here. So two basically at the top and the front. And then just kind of put that, line that, in, line that up and squeeze it in. My pegs are quite stiff again. So yeah, it takes a bit of force to get it in. There we go. We've got that cool animated hair in. I really like this hair. I think it's great. The sad thing is though, you can't use this bangs with the bowl haircut. I think that would have been cool to kind of get that slightly starting up animated pose where he might be getting a bit more serious or the wind's kind of just blowing a little bit. So I just wanted a middle ground between this one on the right and then this one. But sadly, you can't do that. Speaking of the hair and the head sculpts, I haven't got my original purple Gohan out. So I'm not sure if you can swap this hair or the head sculpt or the face plates with that one. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can't. But leave a comment down below if I'm incorrect there. I just haven't got my Gohan. I can't remember where I put it, the purple one. But yeah, try it if you've got both. Uh, no harm in trying it. Uh, this one's come up. I didn't put it on properly. So I'm going to put that back on. There we go. It clicks in place. Then to swap the hands, pretty basic stuff here. As I mentioned, though, you might find that the hands do fall off quite easily. Try not to lose them. This hand here, I'm going to show you this one because I actually don't like using this hand too much. I think it looks great. But because it's so tiny and the fingers are all individually done, which is great, again, it just means that when you're putting it on, I'm super paranoid that I'm crushing his individual fingers in and I don't want to accidentally break them or smush them in. So just keep that in mind, you see. 
you could, I guess, heat this up to kind of pull them back out. Just be gentle with them and mindful of this particular hand. Hands like this are pretty straightforward to get on because there's no individual fingers curved. But otherwise, yeah, I'm a little bit paranoid of that particular pair of hands. And that's it on how to swap parts with Gohan. It is quite simple to do, in my opinion. Just again, be mindful of the hair strands on the alternate animated hair. And then say just that pair of hands that I mentioned where it's kind of the battle ready hands. Here, let's bring out Goku. I was going to say Gohan, but here's Goku. He's too tall to fit onto the frame. So let me just kind of sort that out. So here's Goku standing next to Gohan. And I think it looks pretty good. Play around with your own individual display and setup to get, say, a battle training setup, a family setup, maybe that kind of meal eating together something whatever you want to do i think it will look pretty good to wrap it up then i really enjoyed this figure i think it's a great addition to dragon ball z fans displays and collections to me i still prefer the purple gohan one and kid goku in this size but it's still amazing to see that bandai namco with tamashi nations doing four centimeters sorry four inch figures 10 centimeters packing in so much articulation range of motion and fun it's just amazing and great to see so i really enjoy it if you're a big Gohan fan and need to complete your Gohan action figure display, I would highly recommend checking this one out. I want to thank you for dropping by and watching this video. Do check out my channel if you want to see more from action figures and other kind of merchandise related to cool anime and gaming IP. Thank you very much and see you next time.